If you'd like to see how I created this geometric abstract wall canvas, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube! So today in this video, I am going to be painting um, two canvases. So I'm going to be making a canvas for a bathroom of a home that's going to be staged by my brother and his wife. They're uh, home investors and they like to stage the home when they put it on the market to get it sold um, a little bit faster when it looks really nice. So she mentioned to me some colors that they're using throughout the home. So I came to the conclusion that I'll be using these colors, if not all four, at least three of them. I have a blow dryer here to speed up the process. Um, I have some crushed glass and I'll be using some glitter too. I have some Mod Podge. I've been doing some research and I want to do like a geometric tape um, painting. This is some really cheap uh, tape. And I don't want to have like jagged lines. So what the, the professionals were using, um, they were using some matte sealant. I just have Mod Podge. So I figure if I put on some um, Mod Podge on and let it dry, that my lines should be, um, I should have, I just want clean lines to make a long story short. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. You could use a paintbrush. I can't find my paintbrushes, but I also like to use these sponge brushes. So this is what I'm going to be using. So we're gonna go ahead and just dive right in. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm taking this masking tape and I'm just kinda put it on, kinda figure out what type of design I wanna do. This is my first time, so I didn't really put too much thought into it. I just thought it would be cool to have a couple lines. Um, and then for one, the tape that I'm using, it looks like it's almost about two inches thick or at least one and a half inch thick. There is a thinner masking tape. Maybe I'll try that next. But yeah, I didn't want to have too many squares or triangles or whatever shapes. So I just did a few pieces of tape, but this is kind of so random. This is, this is what, what I, I came up, up with. with. I'm not exactly sure um, how it's going to turn out, but what I'm going to do is, I think what I'll do to see if it's a difference is I won't put my Podge on maybe this area. So let me get a marker. You can test to see if this works. I'll put none here and none here so that says none oh, you probably can't see it but I wrote on the area that I won't put my podge on just to see if these lines come out clean and this one doesn't then we'll know it works so I'm just gonna dip my brush in and I'm just gonna go along the line area just like so so I'm just adding the Mod Podge on all of the tape lines, like I said, and on that one little area, I'm not gonna add it, just to kind of see what the difference is. Okay, so I'll go ahead and blow dry this and see, we'll see at the end, once I paint it and pull it off if it works. But I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry it a little bit. I'm using my little blow dry just to kind of speed up the process. So the first color that I'm adding is this really pretty, like a spring green, almost kind of like a lime green a little bit. It's a pretty color, but it kind of gave me a problem. It's Maybe it was kind of old, maybe it didn't get shook up right. So I'm starting with the green, then I'll work the other colors in. Okay, as you can see, I'm working the black in. Um, so I'm gonna use some black, and then the other color I'm gonna use Oh, let me just back things up a little bit. I forgot to paint the whole canvas either white, maybe a gray, because, okay, you'll see later in the video, but when I took the tape off, it was the white canvas unpainted. So, this painting took so many different avenues, different cuts and corners, like I could have stopped when I took the masking tape off because it wasn't horrible. We'll get to that later, but I'm just adding the black on and make sure you spread everything out evenly as possible. Do a second coat if it doesn't look dark enough for you, but also make sure you come all the way to the edges of the canvas. Um, so yeah, don't forget to paint those edges. 
Usually I wouldn't use a blow dryer, but it really helped because I was in a hurry anyway. And I like to speed the process. I saw it in a, another video and I'm like, oh, that's a good idea. So this color is like a tannish goldish color. It's like a tanner in the gold or maybe it's like a beige color. So I'm just going to add that on. Um, I may have added second coats on, but I think I did it off camera. Just so I don't draw the video out too long. I like to kind of get things like kind of straight to the point. So I'm just going to smooth in this goldish tannish beige color. And um, yeah, we'll take it from here. So far, this is where I am with this painting. So far, I think it looks hideous, but I think this is one of those trust the process situations. So I also think I'm going to, well, I know for sure I'm gonna be adding some glitter to this. And I just thought about it. I think what I was supposed to do was add a base color because when I remove the tape, I'm gonna have those white lines, which may, it might work, but I think I think I defeated the whole purpose of having crispy lines if all I'm gonna do is go between and either add some glitter or I'm going to add some foil leaf so I don't know I just want to see how these lines look I think on this second one I'm going to do a base color first then tape it off I'm kind of all over the place this is my first time doing this so let's just go ahead and see what it looks like with the tape removed but I'm wondering should I put the glitter on now so the glitter can have a crispy line, but I don't think I want to do that. So let's see here. This is the big reveal here. Okay. And that line is pretty crispy. Go ahead and see what it's looking like. Okay. I'm gonna have to use this picker here. Okay, so it's kinda clean, kinda clean. Okay, so I'm taking off the tape. It looks fine like this from a distance. But when you get closer, you can see like little imperfections, but the Mod Podge did help. And don't mind me, I'm using my phone so I can also have some um, content for a YouTube short or like an Instagram post. You know, I had to get some footage. So yeah, I think it looked good like this from a distance, but I had to, I had to add glitter. So I peeled off my masking tape, right? Some of these areas are really, really clean. Then some of them are not so clean. So remember, this was the area that had no Mod Podge on it. I do see the difference. I hope you can see that. I'm gonna get close as I can. This is with no Mod Podge. So the Mod Podge does help with the lines. I just need to get the correct product because what the Mod Podge did, it's kind of made it a little chunky unless I could have used a better brush to like brush it down better. Anyway, I like texture. But what I'm gonna do, like last year or so, I made some of my own crushed glass and I painted it. I'm gonna add some of this to the greens. I still want glitter in between on this white area. I have some white colored glitter. I want to try it out, see what that looks like. Um, but I'm debating because I also want to use this really pretty foil leaf. You know what? I'm going to use the foil leaf. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I usually use a product called liquid glass. But today, I'm going to use this Mod Podge and just see how that does. It's a debate. I know this one is darker. I want to use this green glitter. I feel like this might be a little too bright and this one might be a little too dark. I don't know. And this one is like a matte glitter. It's actually foil glitter. 
So I'm taking my little sponge brush and I'm adding on my podge to the white areas so I can work in the foil leaf. Now again, you could definitely stop here and if I had to choose, I probably would have painted the whole thing gray and maybe left it if it was okay. But yeah, you can stop here and not do all this extra extra because let me tell you, this gets so messy. When I dusted it off, I should have dusted it off outside. This stuff was flying around the house like pollen. Like just light little pieces of it just flying everywhere. And it's like if you try to pick it up, it stains. It's just a mess, but it's so pretty. It's so beautiful. Um, I feel like I used about 155 of these foil leaf sheets. Oh, you can get foil leaf on Amazon.com. This is where we are with it. And it took me, seems like a thousand sheets of foil to be able to get this laid on here. It's all over the place. I'm tired. I'm gonna come back tomorrow, dust it off and see how it looks. I still didn't add the green glitter and the crushed glass here. I think I'll go ahead and do that now and then just walk away from it and just see what happens tomorrow. Okay, so please forgive me. Earlier in the video, I said I was gonna be using Mod Podge instead of the liquid glass. I love the liquid glass product. Anyway, um, I'm using liquid glass so I can go ahead and add on my glitter. Well, I'm gonna start with my crushed, um, my crushed colored glass. I made this myself. I use alcohol inks to color it, the greenish color. And on top of that, once I'm done adding these chunks of glitter, um, of glass, I'm going to add on some glitters. Um, as you can see, um, there's a little hand there. That's my, I guess, little helper who was kind of close. Yeah, so I'm just kind of placing the bigger pieces and making sure it sit right on the liquid glass because it really locks things in place. So I'm going to use both of these glitters to try to really get this going. Um, that's my daughter giving me another helping hand. Um... But goodness gracious, this just, I was worried because it was looking like this was just all over the place. But it actually turned out cute. You ever like something and hate it at the same time? Not hate it, but like it and dislike it at the same time? This was kind of like that. So the reason why I went ahead um, and added some gold glitter, I didn't do it yet. But I'm trying to add in the liquid glass so I could cover up the spots that are peeking through white behind the foil leaf. See, had I painted that? I wouldn't have had that problem. So you won't have that problem because you're going to paint yours. Please paint your whole canvas first. So I'm adding glitter to kind of mask and cover it up. So it's coming together. Okay, so it has been overnight, um, at least 8 to 10 hours. I'm going to go ahead and brush this off and see what I have here. This can get really messy with the foil leaf. So I'm just going to turn it on the side. Uh-oh. And just brush brush everything off uh -oh. okay so I'm just dusting everything off with my nice little fluffy brush and it's coming together it's like really looking like something it really is and this is really different from any other canvases um, that I've done and look how that glass holds on nice and tight with that um, that liquid glass. It really holds on. Okay, you guys. Here is the final finished result of this canvas. It's a lot going on, but I really like abstract art. I really like when there's, not like saying it, I like when stuff is busy, but I do. I do when I don't. I do want to also practice like a very simplistic, minimalist canvas as well. Now, I'm using, this is going to be donated to um, my brother and his wife. They have a business where they flip homes. So they have one that's pretty much finished and it's on the market. Well, it's snatched up off the market now, honey, and it's probably because of this painting. No, just joking, but I'm going to show you in the next clip. Once everything was staged and put together, they put this painting in like the master bedroom and it really came together and looked really nice. So you guys, let me know what you think about this painting. What do you think about foil leaf? What do you think about the geometric um, style of it? Okay, look you guys, you see the painting is right there up on the wall. I think it looked really nice in here. And also the, the color of the green 
the color of the green kind of ties into those cabinets in there if you can see back in the kitchen area this bedroom is off the kitchen so I want to kind of have some green to kind of represent the green cabinets a little bit and they put this house on the market and let me tell you it was a cute little cozy little three bedroom little house and that was the master room it has very nice lighting and everything so the painting was in a cute spot let me tell you the house sold within like the first couple days so if you are into house flipping and renovating homes if you can just have a couple beds tables lamps canvas paintings that you've done yourself you can really get the house sold and of course whenever they look at these houses because it's not my first time i donated a painting to one of their houses that they sold people always ask mm, does that painting come with the house absolutely enjoy your new home enjoy your new painting thanks you guys for watching this video if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching and if you are going to subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell bye bye Check out our website, MyWorldRadiance.com, and we do carry faux leather inspired designer fabric for your crafting needs, luxury inspired croc charms, as well as iron on patches, and much more. Enjoy the coupon code MyRoyalBeauty10 off. Check out our website, CRTacticalDefense.com, where we do sell in waistband gun holsters, belly band holsters, and many more. Please check out my discount code VIBES for a special discount for my subscribers.